everybody, Bullet here. I just completed the fourth flight with the F-14. I was going to do a walk around and uh, show you what I've done. Instead of talking online about it, typing the whole time, I'll just do a video here, put it on YouTube so everybody can see it. Uh, the fourth flight, uh, I've got the video up also. You can take a look at that. At the end of the flight, you can see I just missed the corn. That was because, let me show you over here, when I uh, connected the packs, the main battery pack goes right here and then connects to these two lines and the lines go into some tubes that go back to where the speed controllers are and then I hook them up the speed controllers and uh, have it set up. Unfortunately, on this last flight when I put the batteries in, one of the packs disconnected so one third of my power supply was not available. Instead of having 7,500 milliamps per side, I only had 5,000 per side for the fourth flight. So at three minutes, the batteries, at least uh, two thirds of the batteries were dead. They were all used up. These two packs puffed out and uh, they're cooling down now. But they uh, took the brunt of the damage and one of the packs in there, one third of my batteries were never even used. So fortunately, I have what has treated me well over the years with my models, the Whiskey Tango uh, Delta, which is right here, let's see, where's my finger? white duct tape. That's my good luck, my uh, good fortune. The white duct tape made my uh, gear fail safe actually go because one of the gear doors didn't close all the way on the flight. And when the gear fail safe went, I decided to land early. And because of that, I had just enough power to clear the corn, come in and land. So anyway, uh, that's what happened with almost having a really bad day because one third of my power supply wasn't even available to me. But um, let's see, we'll start with the swing wing. <clears throat> the original swing wing that they had was a jack screw and it weighed three pounds. I call it Frankenstein. And uh, my setup, I use a uh, large servo from Servo City. It's right here. And uh, my whole setup weighs one pound. And I just control it like a large servo, so I have a lot better control of the wing sweep. There it goes. I have it hooked up to my uh, flaps, uh, my flap switch. So when I sweep the wings, you can see my horizontal stab. I don't know if you can see that actually uh, adjust the pitch. And my first attempt at doing that worked really well. Uh, the pitch changes were minimal with a little bit of pitch increase. Oops, switch, maybe you can see it here. Uh, you can't really see it, anyway. As the wing sweeps, the uh, I get a little increased elevator and that works just fine. There's mid sweep. There's full forward. All right, so that's the wing sweep. Wing sweep I also have set up to uh, its own separate power supply. The uh, XPS guys uh, started talking about that, made a lot of sense. If this binds up and even drains its battery down completely, its power supply is totally separate from the rest of the radio system. The radio system has two separate power supplies going to it. XPS fan works wonderfully, uh, putting out a lot of power for me. I'll put all the data on power consumption and that stuff online. Uh, ducting for that worked out really well. The uh, intake ducts, the fan just fits in the nacelle, so the intake going straight back to the fan uh, takes up a large amount of air, 120% of fan sweep area is the intake. And that goes to it. And let's see, that goes back to the exhaust, which is 90% uh, fan sweep. I'll do that to 85 or so. And there's the fan. Um, let me get my, yeah, that's the power. Um, landing gear. I had a little bit of trouble with that, but that all worked out. Now it works just fine. 
I had a slight leak on one of the mains and I've been working with that. Pretty much got it solved. It's a very slight leak now. I lose 5 PSI in 10 minutes, so that's not too bad. And down, overnight the gear uh, holds all its pressure, so the whole uh, air system is pretty tight. For the air system, I got the <coughs> smart multi-valve, which really works well. Uh, it has the uh, gear valve, it has the uh, sequencer for the uh, gear doors, and also has the brakes, all in one unit. And so the brakes, as I engage them, they actually, the top number there is the brake, uh, PSI, and the bottom number is the uh, landing gear system, PSI. I have a... Uh, multi-setting brake that I can adjust how much uh, pressure goes to it so uh, I can adjust my braking on landing which is nice it does use up a fair amount of air but I'm on the landing roll so that doesn't matter too much that cycling you hear is the uh, adjusting valve so you can adjust it pretty well I figured out the system I like it so far it works really well also on that same uh, gear or uh, same channel I have a little servo for uh, my air brake in the back. That's the servo there. And there's my air brakes. So move the switch half position, I get air brakes. Then I continue to move it, and then I start getting wheel brakes. So that works pretty good. Uh, what else? Well, that's about it for now. I've got six and a half minutes. YouTube only lets me have ten, so I'll get back to you in a little while on it.